Scramble Spirits by Sega wasn't exactly the most innovative shooter of its time, but it was definitely one of the best looking. Released in 1988, Scramble Spirits ran on a System 24 board. In fact, it was the first game to run on this new hardware, or at least one of the first games. The amount of detail the System 24 could display compared to other arcade machines at the time was ridiculous. It just blew away anything else of its time. Sadly, as a game, Scramble Spirits doesn't offer anything too special. Bomber shots are mapped to the same button, enemy patterns are nothing special, and the soundtrack is a bit dull in places. But Scramble Spirits does feature some interesting bosses and sprite scaling. Quite often a 2D shooter on the ZX Spectrum is a horrible mess with poor collision detection and awful scrolling. Scramble Spirits on the other hand is actually quite smooth and has excellent collision detection. Unfortunately the monochrome graphics do make it difficult to see the enemy projectiles at times but overall this isn't a bad little effort. Being another specky port, you'd expect the CPC version to be awful, when in truth it's actually not that bad. Yes, the stages scroll slower and there are many parts to a level where there are no enemies at all, and yes, it's very easy. But it's fun for what it is.
Scramble Spirits even made its way onto the Master System, and it's actually very well done. Strangely, this Master System version came out in 1988, the same year the Mega Drive was released in Japan, and the same year Scramble Spirits Arcade was released. Funny how this game was never ported to the Mega Drive. Still, the Master System does a wonderful job at replicating the arcade's look and feel. It even attempts the bonus rounds, where the screen zooms in. Even the bosses are accurately recreated within the limits of the Master System. Starting off with a lovely rendition of the main Scramble Spirits theme, this Commodore 64 port looks promising. Sadly, it's just like the Specky and CPC versions, with sound effects only in-game. It also looks rather ugly. Looks aside, this port isn't as good as it could have been. The enemy placement in this version is just all wrong. Plus the limited screen height makes moving out of the way of the enemies rather difficult. The port for the Atari ST gets so many points right. Sound is good, although I would have liked sound effects and music at the same time, rather than choosing one or the other. Graphics are nice, and it even has the bonus areas, even if they are laid out totally different. The problem with this port is the speed of your main craft. It's just too fast. You'll find yourself flying into more things than avoiding them at times. This is really strange too, as the rest of the game moves at the right speed. Collision detection is also off a bit as well, resulting in deaths when you are clearly not touching anything.
Just like the Atari ST port, this Amiga version suffers from all the exact same issues. The controls are just too fidgety, making this a difficult game to enjoy. And let's take a look at all those versions of Scramble Spirits running side by side. 